You ready? You ready? Here we go. So we have a 2015 2 litre Audi S1 Quattro. I do think there is a competition version. I don't really know the difference. I think it's just spec wise, but I think it's a bit more sought after with the fancy red lights, which is basically just more expensive for some silly reason. So without further ado, we're just going to walk around the car, show you what's kind of wrong with it, show you what we've got and uh, show you what we haven't got. So, let, so let's go. Yes guys, what is that then? And welcome back to a brand new video on the crash damage Audi S1. And you, it might look a bit different, but before we get to that, let's show you what's been done. So, right guys, so as you can see, the last time you saw this, we had black wings, black bonnet, the bumper hasn't changed. And look, look at the sill, oh my God. So yeah, yo, sill is absolutely banging. Fitment is pucker. And we've sorted out that, um, look at that. Oh, it's lovely, that is absolutely pucker, so. So the reason you haven't saw me in like a week, two weeks is one, I was on holiday, so don't really make any content whilst on holiday. And two, the car was being sprayed, so I sent it over to Manny, I was like, Manny, do what you can, let me know if you have any issues, blah, blah, blah. So first things first, the bumper is still the same. Unfortunately, the clips are broken in the bumper, so I'm gonna show you, show you now. Um, like look, the bumper it is like not even attached in the slot. So even if I like push this in, whatever, it's still it's still doing this, which unfortunately isn't good enough. So we've had to order a new front bumper because obviously that's smashed a bit. So I don't want to be like bodging the bumper because obviously when the new person gets the car if that's bodged then it's not going to be good so i've had to order a new bumper the bumper is going to have to be sprayed and then the rest of it's going to have to be blended but if i didn't get the bumper um then it wouldn't have been able to carry on with all this that's actually been done so far which i think it looks actually really good apart from obviously the bumper's a bit tatty and obviously the brackets are broke the car looks mint like honestly i'm so so happy with it so manner you've absolutely smashed it there son So yeah, bumper is in the garage. So Friday, by the time you're watching this, it probably already has been done, but the bumper is getting sprayed. So the bodywork really has been finished. I did ask a question, should I get side skirt? Should I get a splitter? Should I get a RS grill while the car's nearly on its finishing stages? Um, so that's bodywork kind of done. The only thing we've got left to do is, I'm gonna show you this now and hopefully we can do this now. Um, we've got new headlights, well, not new, we've got brand new second hand headlights for the Subaru, so the Subaru can be continued to be aligned. And then hopefully we can get this cleaned, washed, probably do a little detailing video because I know some of you like that. Um, and then, yeah, get this, drove, maybe go out a little drive, see what you guys think. Um, and obviously I want to keep the content churning, so I don't want to stall it for too long. So, yeah, let me show you what we've got to do now because I believe this is an MOT failure. Um, I thought we'd get away with it because I'm going to show you and it. Someone said, yeah, do this, and it hasn't really worked. So, yeah, I'm going to jack the car up, get it up in the air, get under the passenger side, and show you what's cooking. One thing that I will say I'm enjoying it on this journey is buying new tools. Matt, I ordered this the other day. Oh, my God, this Milwaukee Flexi Ratchet, and it is absolutely mega. So what I'm going to do, yeah. Like Halfords, yeah, this is like like butter man so yeah another tool to add to the uh, artillery so let's go so if you look here you can't really see anything but then when you come to here uh you can see it now can't you oh god there's loads of it <laughs> um so yeah that is the issue unfortunately so long story short someone was like get two cable toys pull on them both you'll be sound just as reference if anyone comes to having a drive shaft coming off uh do not use cable ties because they don't work um i'm hoping i can pull the boot back i don't know if there's a lip or there's like a like a beveled edge that it seats on or you just kind of push it up as much as you can and then just screw it up but while i was away i ordered this so we've got the tool for it and we've got some nice big clamps so yeah for anyone who says I was budging it, we have come to the rescue with this, so hopefully 
we can get this on. So based on this, I thought, oh my God, it's too small. So there is locking pins, I don't know if you can see there, but you kind of like put it on, make sure it's nice and tight, and then it kind of like locks in like so. I've never done one of these. And then apparently you get your tool and then it like crimps it and then pushes down on it at the same time. So yeah, never done one of these before. Thankfully I've got loads of spares, so wish me luck. Right, so I have just cleaned it up and put a clip on it. it does look loads better. I hope the angle of it is all right um, and it seals, but I've done that clip up like as tight as possible. So the only way to find out is obviously when we take it for an MOT and if it is still seeping then I've got plenty more of these to use, so that ain't too bad. Yes, people, so you've joined me from a few weeks of past. Um, you haven't saw me for about a month because I've been collecting things. Uh, we've us to proceed to potentially get this car ready to sell, and mainly I kind of fell off the bandwagon a bit. I felt a bit stuck, if that makes sense, and I felt like uh, comparison is the thief of joy, and I'm watching all these YouTubers absolutely smashing it, and I just felt like all I seem to be doing is plummeting money into this, and it's not going anywhere, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, so they are cutting the tree down behind, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, uh, I might have to voice over this, but we've got some bits to potentially get this car finished and we've got something to rip off that we potentially fixed in the last video or the last part of the video, which hasn't fixed. So uh, yeah, let's go. So you might be thinking, what's going on here? You've already, you've already done this, you've already kind of been here. So let me tell you, we thought we'd fixed it. Um, I had a little drive just to check it. Literally drove probably five, 10 minutes down the road. Got underneath it, had a look, and unfortunately, that didn't fix it. Uh, right, so if you're watching that thinking, what the hell is that? So my missus has had a weird judder coming from the brakes on the uh, Evoke. So I don't know when they were last changed. So I've ordered new discs and pads off auto dock. I think it's about 160 quid. I'm just right, waiting for a good time to get them changed. And uh, yeah, there'll be another video on that, how to do this and pads on a Range Rover. If it's got automatic handbrake, does anyone know how to stop the handbrake from coming on? Because obviously the only way you'd be able to do it is if you put it in neutral, jacked it up and then left the car running. Cause as soon as you turn the engine off, it goes automatically to put the handbrake on. So if anyone knows, comment down below cause it would massively help. But first, what you're gonna wanna do, I'm not sponsored by Milwaukee, but the amount of tools I'm getting, I should be, so I'm get picking. There we go, pop that off, break that if you must. There we go. And then now. So we actually torqued these wheel bolts up uh, with a torque wrench and this gun is the dream. Honestly, if anyone buys this gun, get the six milliamp power battery. It is the absolute dog's dangle, I'm telling you. As you can see here, look at the grease. It didn't really work that well, to be honest. <sighs> right, so as you can see here, I'm hoping this works. I'm gonna put the screwdriver down the veins of the brake, and then I'm gonna try and loosen this off. So hopefully this works. Sweet, lovely, drive shaft. I'm gonna try and secure this properly. Um, I don't know if I'd gone too close or or what. I just kind of like pushed it up as far up as it'd go and then tried to get the, the clamp around it. Um, there is a tire place. I'm just gonna go there and just ask them what they do because they do uh, CV joints and stuff. So yeah, there is a little, if I pull back, there is a little rib, but I don't know how far it's supposed to go, so. Yeah, so go to the garage now, see what they say. So the drive shaft is back. It's clamped up pretty decent, to be fair. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping it sticks. So yeah, I'm gonna get back in, do the hub up and all that stuff back up, and hopefully it don't leak anymore. Right, so you may be asking, what have you been waiting for? Why is it taking so long? And the answer is finding parts. So if you haven't guessed it already, here is a brand new second hand damaged, not damaged front bumper. 
and let me show you why. So the reason for the new front bumper is clearly is this. So snapped, 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 and then obviously bumpers crack there. It's got a crack on the bottom there. It's got a big hole there. So yeah, we had to get a new bumper, unfortunately. Right, so if you do a little comparison of both, they do look exactly the same. The only difference I can see is there, it's white, and then on this one, it's black. Uh, uh, it, there is damage on it though. I've seen one. So this was the best thing I could find for 340 pounds. So it's 340 quid, and it still needs spraying and prepping and gluing. So yeah, let me show you what we got. So as you can see here, look, look at this. Unfortunately, it is it has broke there, um, which is a bit of a shame. But the only good thing is this. So hopefully this can be like plastic welded back into place because as you can see there, it has broke a little bit. So hopefully a bit of plastic weld, bit of glue, that should clip in, and then we shouldn't have we shouldn't have that problem. And um, we come a bit further across. Doesn't actually look that too bad to be fair. It's got a few little nicks and stuff which a bit of paint will sort out, no problem. Uh here, got a little got a little break there. I'm sure that could be plastic welded, sanded, and you won't even notice. Don't know if I like the grill. I can't work it out. I feel like I prefer this grill over that one. Anyway, this grill snaps, so we won't be using that. A few marks there. This side isn't too bad. I start to see that bit's that bit's kind of broke there, so hopefully that can be plastic welded. This bit's sound, but yeah, as long as like that one's secure and that one, it should be fine really. And then the grills look a bit different. So you got that one there, this one. See, I wonder if they took the inside out, but this is definitely an S1 grill. Let's see, right? And then hopefully, hopefully, I'm praying this. This is the last piece of the puzzle. Anyone guess what's inside? Anyone guess? So, if you like are wondering more videos haven't happened. Look, obviously I can't sell the car with no wheel arch lines. It's gotta be complete. So, yeah, I ordered wheel arch liners off Allah Left Parts, I think it was, or somewhere like that. And it, this took nearly four weeks to arrive, so. Yeah, I know I probably could have got it on the road and drove it. I've just, as I said, I just ain't really been feeling it, to be honest. Especially waiting for the bumper. And then I've had the car sprayed. Now I've got to get the bumper sprayed. It's just faff. So, yeah, this is left and right-hand side wheel arches. Hopefully, it did say Audi S1. I checked part numbers and that's correct. But, yeah, last piece of the puzzle. Right, so, there we are. We have front, left, and right wheel arches after they got smashed up. So now we need to get the front bumper painted, little machine polish, cheeky detail, wheel refurb. While the front bumper's off, do we get a RS grill? Comment down below. I was debating an RS grill, front splitter, side skirts, but obviously the more money I put in, I'm just wasting money. So like, obviously at some point I would like to be modding the vehicle effectively. But at the minute, I'm just like trying to get the car fixed and sell on and keep it going. I think it, this one's been two starts, took way too long, man. Um, and hopefully in the future, we can do it a lot quicker and make it a lot better. So this was just like a taste of the Subaru. I've actually, I got headlights for the Subaru as well, which I've got to show you. But yeah, the Audi is pretty much good to go kind of thing, really. A um, few final touches and a little bit of adjustment on the bonnet and stuff, because it's a bit high in certain areas, but yeah, that's where we're at. So all I ask guys, all I ask anyone watching, please subscribe to the channel, please like it, please comment it, please share it to your friends because all those little things massively help for a creator like me, like you've saw the front bumper, you saw the wheel arch line as you saw the headlights, so <laughs> you're talking like best part of like six, seven hundred pounds just on the, and what kind of value does that bring you? It's nothing exciting, it's just to put a car back together and it's like, hopefully we will get to a point where we're absolutely churning it and we're smashing out the content, but 
it's, it's difficult when it all seems to be spending money, spending money, do you know what I mean? So I see some of these other YouTubers that are spending money like it's going out of fashion and I don't understand how they're doing it, to be honest with you. Um, hopefully one day we can do it and then I'll tell you how I did it, but at the minute I'm just like, what the hell? So, yeah. I hope these are the right ones. <laughs> I did go on eBay and have a look. I talked in Subaru hatchback um, WRX, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these are right. And they do look it, to be fair. Oh yes. The main important things is the headlight brackets more than anything. That a sound that is. So there's a bit, there's a bit of crap on the lens that you can probably see. Like the lens isn't perfect by any means, but you know what this does mean? Brackets, the brackets are all, all intact. There's no breaks. So one there, one there, one there, and then even the ones underneath, they're still there. So more than anything, when I put these in and then line the wing up to the bumper, we know that everything's sound then because these are going to line up to the OEM points. So if I want to, I could take the lens off and put my one that's off the car because I think the ones on the car are better condition than these ones. Um, but I might be able to give, the, this looks like a sticker to be honest with you. So I might be able to bug and tar these and machine polish them and bring them up like new. Right, so before I start, all I'm going to do is just put the headlights in place, screw them up, and then just see how it looks. So remember this, remember this, and then I'm going to click, and we're going to go back to fitted, so let's go. Okay, boom, there we go. So we have the front bumper on. My granddad actually had a little go at repairing the grill because it was broke and he's painted it black. And I must say, granddad, if you're watching this, you've done a cracking job. Uh, headlights, headlights are the same ones, which I'm absolutely buzzing about, but... It doesn't actually look that bad. Bearing in mind nothing's been welded in yet. This has just been kind of put into place. I'm gonna show you because that's what I do. I think this wing's bent because the headlight sits nice there. And then it, when it comes down here, it goes like behind the headlight. Look, look, see if you can see. So the bumper doesn't actually line up properly. So I think it was kinked there and it's like pushed down there. So. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I don't know if that can be pulled out a bit, but it don't look that bad, to be fair. I think you just need sanding, painting. Yeah, guys, what are we saying? Looks really good, I think. So, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it took such a long process to do this one and that one. I, this is my passion. This is what I love doing. So, from going forward, it's got to be quicker. It's got to be boom, 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 three, four, five weeks max not six months, I bought this in January and that in February. It's the start of August, man, it's way too long. So yeah, comment, let me know what you think about that one. S1, let me know. I'm thinking about raising this up, putting some big chunky tires on it and taking like, you know, the whales off-roading things. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do this. I might just drive this around normally and use this as my car to pick up bits, do little random bits in. Um, let me know what you think I should do. Sounds really quiet as well, so I think it might need a big exhaust and stuff. So, yeah, comment look, down below, let me know what to do to that. If you want me to do anything to the S1, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I just want to bring a bit more oomph to it, and uh, hopefully you like enjoy it a bit better because it's just a bit slow. I wish I could do a bit more, so hopefully when one of these goes and we start again on something different, it'll be a different vision of the channel. So yeah, without further ado, I'll speak to you on the next one, and hopefully I'll see you next week.